Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the best AI tool for academic writing, Co Writer AI. And right now, as you can see right here, this should be the landing page of CoWriter. Now, this is a preview on how it should look like inside. And at the bottom, you'll see the trusted by students and professionals across the globe. One of which is Stanford, UCL, Manchester, and Liverpool. These are the benefits. You have efficiency, originality, time saving, and versatility. For me, originality is the most important part here because it's really hard to start from scratch here. And with this are the features. You have AI-powered auto-completion. You also have station formatting aid. This is pretty helpful for people who are quitting their thesis. And then you have bibliography library. You have writing styles and tones. And the best part for me also is outline builder. You have introduction. You have the conclusion. You have, I think, the body and so much more. And now without being said, let's try it out for free. And by the way, guys, this is powered by ChatGPT. And right now, let's try it out. You have going to be two options to start it on this middle one or the upper right section. Now I'm going to go with the middle one. I'm just going to use my dummy Google account to proceed with this one. And I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is going to be the inside of CoWriter. And to get started, click on this new document. And you'll see right here that it will ask you for a prompt. Before we get started, I just want to highlight that there is a prompt strength here. So you'll know if your prompt is pretty useful or pretty precise. And this right here, I have prepared a sample prompt for us to fully utilize the power of this AI. So I'm just going to ask um, co-writer to write an article or how AI is affecting critical thinking skills, write a comprehensive essay, and add various citations from different sources. The essay should not exceed 500 words. And you'll notice right here, the prompt strength is now strong. Now I'm going to click on this one, add clear and structured outlines, and click on open editor. Right now, it will create the outline itself. As you can see right here, currently it has introduction. It has understanding. And to enable each part to write an AI, just hover your mouse or cursor in each section. As you can see right there, I hover my mouse in the introduction, and it gave me this sentence. Let's try it out on the second section, okay? How about this one right here? I'm going to stand by my mouse there for understanding critical thinking skills. And without further ado, you'll see right here that it will show up in a few seconds. There we have it. So critical thinking skills are essential for making well-informed decisions and solving complex problems and so on and so forth. Now, before I choose which part or how to use this fully utility, I want to show you the options here. So at top, you have EA Assistant. You have Sight. You have text, you have the undo and redo button. You can add images, edit the font style. For example, you want to bold, italize, and utilize, and even embed here. So let's try it out for the introduction first. And as you notice, it's much blurry in a bit, but there is an option here. If you click on it, you can add assistance, a site list, and so much more. And then if you're now satisfied with this one, simply click on accept. If not, you can ask to rewrite. But for me, I'm going to accept it as it is, and then I'm going to show you how to edit whatever AI gave us. So you can read each sentence, and it will give you some more until you say that it's enough. As you can see right there, I can accept here. I can still wait here and um, ask AI or wait for the AI to give me some more examples, like this one. Now, for some reason, I'm satisfied with whatever this is, and I'm going to edit some stuff here. For example, this part right here, I want to edit it. I can cite it, put it on a numbered list, bullet, textile from heading to heading 4, and embed the link or hyperlink. And now, I want to use the tools in the top section. I want to cite this first sentence or paragraph. I'm going to click on cite right now. And you'll see on the right section, it will open up a citation option, wherein I can cite each and one of them. I have, I think, 5 results here, or more than 5 rather. I can exclude them or open a link here. For example, I can click cite right now, and there it is. We have a citation added. If I want this one right here, I can simply click on cite one more time. And there is an endless possibility on how to do this. Of course, you want to check if the citation is true, right? So you can check the, on this option right here to open the link. And there we have it. We have opened it in a new link. That means the citation is pretty powerful. Let me go back on CoWriter now. 
Now, for example, you want to add your custom reference or custom citation. Rather than choosing the ones here, the most recent, choose this one. Add a custom reference. You can choose a journal article or content type, the title, the access date, the publication, and so much more. Now, I'm just going to use the default or the suggested citation search, much more simpler, and move on with the tools from the above section. If I click on the images right now, I can choose to my computer or stock images inside this um, co writer or embed URL. For example, on this option, I'm just going to choose an image from my desktop. Just for the sake of discussion, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to wait for it to upload and I'm going to import it right now. And there we have it. We have an image in Psycho Writer. So moreover, let's, com let's complete our study or complete our essay. I'm just going to hover this right here. Click on accept. I'm going to finish everything as I see fit. And by the way, guys, you don't have to finish everything here if you're not satisfied. But for example, you're satisfied at a certain point. You don't have to go through and finish each section. And as you can see right here for the reference, it's only applicable or only possible for the paid subscription. As you can see right here, upgrade your subscription to view more references. And since we only have the free trial, this is going to be our limit for today. I'm going to make another video about this one regarding the full trial. So let's explore some more tools here. For example, I'm going to utilize this one. And I'm going to highlight this exact sentence. If I click on AI Assistant on this option or that one right there, I'm going to have an option to improve proficiency, simplify, paraphrase, make lengthy, and so much more. For example, I click on simplify. I want to choose academically, casually, or even persuasively. I'm going to go for academically. And with that, it's currently generating an add to document. And with that, I did not really think, I did not really even type anything. I only did one click of a button. And now let's talk about adding images one more. Um, I've already covered this where you can upload your photo. You can embed your URL. And let's now expand the stock image. So if I type in here, artificial intelligence, since our topic is about artificial intelligence, right? Here are the sample photos, the stock images you have inside CoWriter. So if I click on this one, this is by the way from Pixabay, as you can see, there are the sources. If I import one right there, then there we have it. And now before you upload it or download it, I want to wrap it up. I want to show you this one, the AI Assistant. If I click on AI Assistant right now, I have so much command. For example, write more details, write an opposing argument, write a conclusion, an introduction, and continue writing. Basically, this option right here gives you the direct control of CoWriter AI. And with that being said, I want to try to export it now. If I click on this one, I have no option to export it to HTML or PDF. I'm going to choose PDF. And without a hassle, as you can see right there, it's pretty fast. So let me just check it right now. So here we have it. We have right here the exact PDF or of our article. And with that being said, before we wrap this up, I want to show you the pricing of this AI. Let me just go back to the website. So this is going to be the prices for the paid subscription. Yearly is going to be $11 per month, and the monthly is $20. I think if you really want to use this AI, I suggest go with the yearly. It saves almost 50 or 40%. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up now. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.